we spoke about this a long time ago, right? But things have changed a lot since then. And, you know, we've, we've ridden this high-ass, have a weird wave. If this went to shit, right, and comedy's gone, what's your go-to job now? What would you oh, try and do? Oh, yeah. Because gardening's not a bad one, is it? People have gardens. They need gardeners. People have got gardens. So, what? when's it going to shit? Next Can week. We, next week. Because it's literally loud. Uh, Please don't use this as foreshadowing in some weird way. <laughs> <laughs> but next week, it's gone. That would be a real kicker, you know, because I've bought cars like we're still going to be earning for the next two years. <laughs> Uh, what am I going to do next week? Sell a Z4. Uh, um, yet, I don't know if... You can't go to... I can't go back to comedy. No. I can't do gigs. Do you know, that would be hard anyway. What was that James line you used in the... Uh, if I hadn't seen such riches, I could live with being poor. <laughs> yes. I just There is an element of that. You mean in my stand-up show? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know in Chester? Yeah, was it Chester? You said it on the pod. And the guy went, that's a song. That's a line from a James song, you know? <laughs> Great. Great, thank you. Brilliant. <laughs> so good, because I wondered why it was in my head. <laughs> I, think it in your head. I think you'd be a good teacher. I think teaching is like comedy, except not as much fun, and you can't say, one, two, three, shut the fuck up. I just, um, I'm not a, I think I'd, there'd be murders. Like, I, kids are so fucking annoying. High school? Oh, my God, no. Year 11. No way. Being a history teacher... For year fucking nine. Oh, those little bastards. They've all got fucking knives. Oh, Go to girls' all school. Them. All of them. To girls' school? Year 11. It's a girls' school. Got you know, I get, brilliant. I get stabbed by a fucking girl. <laughs> <laughs> Which would be my luck, wouldn't it? Should go on fucking gardening. It's teaching in London. <laughs> um, uh, I, I'd like to be that dude that works on the parasail. <laughs> oh... That's where I go. <laughs> I go, weird old drunken British guy on a beach somewhere. Dance parasailing. Oh, yeah, I'd be that cunt. Dance you strapped in, I'd be so fucking hammered. I don't feel like strapped in. Don't worry about that. it would be fucking fine. It's only a bit of water. Slap it with your face. Tense changed <laughs> for no reason. Yeah, but I'm grizzled by then, aren't I? Yeah, I'd be one of those weird old beach bum cunts. Just selling parasail and fucking jet ski rides. You could be the fella who uh, like controls this patch of um, lounges. <laughs> <laughs> like a pimp. Yeah. Like a pimp. He got lounges. fucking very defensive that day, didn't he? He also got fucking nutmegged. Watch out for that. Yeah. Stupid bastard. On the rugby league special where we went to Lorette de Mar. And rugby. Uh, and we went to the, uh, yeah, the rugby. I nutmegged him and he got very, very, very sad. Yeah. And very aggressive. Yeah, he tried to do some banter with Two like sausages, didn't he? keep ups yeah. and whatnot. Right in the knee. He was like, Ah, oh, your shit's a foot. He was like, Right, okay. I megged him, run away, celebrating. And he was like, Oh, no, let's have it. And started well, we also had an American football. This guy's like 58 years old. He's been a beat. He's been doing that job for so long. Like, he was different ethnicity. He looked like a couch. Like, yeah. He was just, he was Spanish, but he's all he's ever done is been on the beach for the whole of the summer. And he'd gone so many tones of like Spanish <laughs> d mahogany brown. Yeah, and he, was, and it, he wasn't being unfriendly initially. He was being f normal. But senor, then, senor, then, you're paying for the bed. He was being <laughs> that was him. Not like that. And senor, then, senor, a ball, a ball you have six beds. A ball started being thrown around. And he was like, yes, and now we play. And basically, Carl had a fuck around with him and, and megged him, and he got dead annoyed. Yeah. At one point, I was throwing the American football, and he was like, hey. He, he went to throw it to me and then I'll bat it down yeah, yeah. onto his head. I was like, oh, you've not met Carl. He'll fight you. <laughs> he got and megged. Then, and then that'll be amazing for the fucking Patreon special. So we are, lad. <laughs> um, uh, I might go kibbutz. I don't even know what I can say kibbutz. I don't even know what that is. Is that like a fucking a boat in Israel or something or Tel Aviv? What the fuck's kibbutz? A kibbutz. I don't. What? Don't people do that on a gap year? They kibbutz. Go, they w what? It's a it's a unique settlement of Israel. You're gonna go there. What? What are you on about? I asked you what job would you get if you got, if it all went to shit? What? And you're going on a fucking pilgrimage? What's kibbutz? I, th I think I've misunderstood the word. What do you think? I think I might go foreign, foreign beach cunt. I might be that guy. Why? What am I gonna do over here? Garden. You could do that, that in England. What would you do? What would I do? Yeah. 
If it all, I couldn't work in the industry anymore. This industry, yeah. uh, fucking hell. Because you didn't know you were going to end up doing this two years ago. No, and my plan was to be a teacher, which now terrifies me. Um, yeah. probably a college teacher. College, so you can swear. The, that was the plan. Yeah, I have to college. say, if you were going to do teaching, that I've said it before, that's the one. <laughs>